Hello everyone, welcome to the Gunning Glade. Welcome back to some more awesome mist. Let's see, trying to grow and expand this little collection of mine. This little collection of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Uh, I have this with me once again, this this awesome PSA 10 Sil Valley from Hidden Fates, which I got from my good friend Pokeron. So much love, I had to see it one more time. And, uh, and I have all these wicked evolutions packs. Um, actually not just evolutions, but also sword and shield base set. So this has been, uh, I've been waiting for the occasion because I haven't really, don't want to interrupt all the crinkling. Um, but, uh, this is a really crazy occasion because 401 games, uh, had this pretty solid deal going on, um, for, uh, 10 evolutions packs and then 10 sword and shield packs so i figured why not give it a shot but in the meantime uh, i want to give you some code cards so you have uh this darkness ablaze vivid voltage rebel clash and sword and shield i know y'all are super fast um so you probably all snagged that before the video was even uploaded so uh i guess they they organized this like one after the other so i think i'm gonna do it not like that and just organize it in the meantime um, hope everyone is having a super casual fragilistic expialidocious time uh, welcome to 2021 i hope it's been pretty solid for you um, so what am i going to do i'm going to do sword and shield first because um i just think that it is you know let's 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 leave evolutions for last because obviously everyone is going bananas in pajamas for um, for that set, especially um, at the tail, well, I'd say the third quarter of last year when Pokemon just exploded. Um, so, anyways, but this was the base set from Sword and Shield. Oh, look at the baby Grookey. That's awesome. Mudbray, Fire type energy, Ferrothorn, Rabuchu in your face, Lumberry, Goldeen, and a Rillaboom. Just thwacking that drum. Beware of the Rillaboom no doubt okay next up we have the snorlax v max i don't have any rainbow rares from this set i haven't really been pursuing it actually as it did come out um i mean i got back into pokemon uh, towards august of last year and um i'm pretty happy about what i've collected so far because i really went hard for darkness ablaze i think darkness ablaze is a really cool set I know a lot of people were going wild for Vivid Voltage, um, which I still think is a brilliant set. I wanted all of them amazing rares. I'm really, 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 really happy that I uh, scored them while they were still at decent prices because I probably I think that, that that's going to be a set that will be going for quite a bit of shekels someday. Okay, so no, no ultra rares yet. Cupent. Oh my gosh, love that. Chinchow. Silizipede, which also made its appearance in uh, Champion's Path. Aurora Energy. Uh, double is the Reverse Hall, and the rare is a Drapion. All right, maybe all the luck is being saved for Evolutions. Uh, again, a set where all we want is a Charizard. Well, I mean, uh, you may have seen me actually pull a Hollow Charizard from Evolutions from one of the Pokemon Center packs uh, that I got uh, what was that in October? And with the special delivery Pikachu, it was definitely one to uh, to grab Hitmonchan, Galarian Lino, and Cinderace is a rare reverse hall, and the rare is a Masharna. I guess her and Snorlax can have a sleeping contest. I mean, look at that. But you just want to want to give it some love. Okay, another Snorlax V Max. Oh, and I just took a gander at the code card and disappointment reigns supreme. Uh, but we still have so many more packs to rip into, so hopefully we will get some of that magic. Look at that, salad it. I wonder how it felt the first time it saw its tail on fire. It wasn't natural. Blip bug! You look hilarious. Thwacky. We doth rocky. Uh, citrus berry, galarian meowth, and a lantern you off. Nothing special yet. I guess this is just excellent for the bulk pile at this rate. No complaints though. 
Well, that's kind of rare to see a, a blip bug. I always wondered if there was like a trend where there's like a uh, a random um, random card right off the bat, one that you don't see too often. And blip bug is definitely one of them. I haven't seen a blip bug right off the bat. Ferrothorn, Crushing Hammer, Kingler, Reverse Hall is a Galvantula, and the rare. Oh, would you look at that? A Tapu Coco V. I don't have that yet. Very cool. It's a big fan of Tapu Coco in the Guardians Rising era, a set that I so happily completed last month. So, very cool. Tapu Coco V. I'm going to keep that right there. Not too shabby. It's the first V in several packs, so got to say, one can never, can never say, oh, was it Wade? One can never really say you know say that but i think that was a lot more prevalent with older pokemon sets from your 2000s and obviously the 90s good old 90s oh reverse holo grookey and a dreadnought non-hollow all right another snorlax v max on the artwork um can't wait to see if i can Actually, yeah, I know there's so many raids. I haven't played Pokemon Go in a really, really long time. Uh, probably not since March of last year when the world had its little moment. But I hear that it's extremely valuable in um, in the games. So you can actually transfer Pokemon. Oh! Snorlax V. Hey, how you doing? He's running. Have you ever seen a Snorlax run? I mean, it took him 20 years to stand up. Really cool Snorlax V full art from Sword and Shield base set. This is the first ultra rare I think I might have pulled from this set. At least a full art. Don't have any full arts. So I am thrilled about that. Definitely going. And that actually looks very minty, minty, minty. So it's like a gander. Yes, that's really nice. I like that. I approve. That's a 10, my friend. So Snorlax V joins the party. Um, and obviously this set contains the gold cards, the golden dog boys, Zamazenta and Zashian. So I think that I would probably have a wee bit of a cry if I were to have those join my team. Blipbug, Rhyhorn, Lightning type energy, Bisharp, Pokemon Catcher, Haunter, Poke Gear Reverse Hollow, and a Boltlund, Boltlund, uh, Hollow Rare. Okay. Next up. What do we have here? Final Sword and Shield base set pack. Alrighty. So, what do we have? We have a Score Bunny. We have a Sinistee. We have a Maractus. We have a Pikachu. We have a Galarian Meowth. We have a Grass type Energy. Rotom Bike. Big Charm. Clavopus. And the final card is a Raichu. Non hollow, but this is my favorite card aside from the Snorlax. That I pulled from Sword and Shield base set, so not too shabby. I'd say, obviously, two ultra rares: the Snorlax V, Tapu Koko. Snorlax V takes the cake and eats it too. So, okay, I'm gonna set these aside so I don't have too much mess. But there's always gonna be a mess, and that's okay. Ten packs of evolutions. I should probably keep these sealed, but I won't because I just uh, I'm a silly goose sometimes, a silly galade, no doubt about it. This is a set that is super, super valuable um, because, uh, oh, I should have not done it like that, but um, it, this set really takes the cake. I don't think there are energies. I'm just going to go like this just in case maybe there is, um, maybe there's a Charizard, a reverse holo Charizard. Wow, three energies in a row. Nidoran, Vulpix. This is so cool. This is the reprint of base set, as everyone knows. Uh, which is released. Oh, cool! A Nine Tails break and an Arcanine non-hollow, but Nine Tails break. Um, there was a handful of break cards that were part of this set. Um, sweet, not too bad. Right, there are no energies, and it is three from the back. So I did remember. Okay, right, you on the artwork. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I remember how excited I was when this set was released because of the nostalgia factor. Um, here you go. You don't have a code card. Um, because obviously this is a set that meant so much to people from my generation and also i mean i had all my cards thrown out in 2005 and i had a binder full of great things like team rocket and things like that uh it's all gone so 
Machoke Reverse Hollow, and the rare is a Star Me. Um, so that was unfortunate, but what do you do? You just move on. We have an Energy, which is. Uh, I don't recall seeing energies, but. Uh, oh, no, I gave it away. Meh. All right. Anyways, three from the back. I'm just gonna do it like this. I mean, these are these are sets like this, especially being in and around that like anniversary of Pokemon in 2016, 20th anniversary. They came out with Generations, and um, and then this set came out in November. I remember very clearly, and um, it was such a great feeling. Starmie is the rare reverse hollow, and the rare is a Mega Charizard EX. Definitely one of the uh, more valuable cards in this set. Uh, really cool. Uh, really, really cool, actually. That is absolutely impressive. There you have the Mega Charizard EX, Mega Charizard Y, actually. I wish they included the, um, the Mega, Mega Charizard X, which is a really cool card. That was in Generations, though, and that's a really cool card. Um, but wow, 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 wow. A banger, as they say. A banger indeed. Wow. I'm thrilled about that. So, welcome to the squad, my friend. Mega Charizard EX. Holy oh, yeah. If I can pull a holo Charizard, I might have a... I might have a cry of happiness. And the sound man's head might explode. Um, so, here we go. Uh, three, yes. I'm going to do it responsibly. Uh, I remember when the set came out... Well, I mean, this whole generation of Pokemon was kind of weird because the printing just was not that great. And um, so it's really hard to get any of these cards uh, in actual gem mint condition. Mega Slowbro EX. So that's like one after the other. Oh, wow. Mega Slowbro EX. So far, the evolution side of this opening is killing it. Mega Slowbro EX. Uh, I'm glad that this Pokemon got some love. Uh, it really was sort of uh, remained fairly low key um, in this era. Uh, well, I mean, for the longest time, actually. Okay, Mega Venusaur on the pack art. Mega Venusaur. So, like I was saying, the. Oh, I did it again. What am I going to learn here? Why don't you just have that? Take that code card, my friend. Um, so, like I was saying, the printing was just abominable. Crabominable. It was crabominable. Uh, throwback to that big icy leaf boy. <laughs> but uh, but but it was really hard to actually get any of these cards in gem and condition. Like I was saying, Magmar and a what? The what am I seeing here? This is not even in the set. How did I just pull a rare non-hollow Weavile in Evolutions? This card does not belong here. I've never seen that in my life. I've never seen that in my life. Okay, time to crack right through that. That You just saw that, everybody. I just pulled a non-hollow Weavile, which is from Steam Siege, I think. So, what is going on there? Okay, three from the back. Okay, here we go. Metapod, Charizard Spirit Link. We have a double colorless energy. Charmander, Diglett, Drowsy, Caterpie, Doduo. Machoke, another one, and a wow, 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 wee wow, a Mew Hollow. That's worth showing. It's a really beautiful card. Love that. This belongs in the set. I've never seen that before where a Weavile was in the other one. Uh, but I love uh, I hope you like that. That was pretty cool. Um, from the Sun and Moon, going to review that one more time. Uh, but there was obviously the Snorlax V, which is really cool. So it's an, a really, 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 I would say, gem in condition. Mew Hollow, which is definitely a fave. Mega Charizard EX, Mega Slowbro, and then the Nine Tails Break. And obviously, everyone, what happened here? How did I pull a Weavile? Anyways, thank you all for watching. This is the Gunning Gallade signing out. Until the next time, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Everything you do to support the page is much appreciated. So until the next time, bye for now.